check out my latest anime music video, Fake Love, by the famous K-pop boy band, BTS. Check it out towards the very end of the video. Click that end screen annotation. Have a nice day. Truckers X TV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to the exciting episode of Pokemon Ultra Moon Wonderlock. In the previous episode, we took Old Man Uncle Nanu and Lady. On today's episode, we're infiltrating the Aether Foundation. So if you're happy with today's episode, make sure that like button is spoiling is your support is greatly appreciated to the channel. Now, reason why I'm turning the experience here on. After having two, three battles in a row, there's no other choice but to use the experience share. Because they just spike up the level out of nowhere. Sure, if we're like one level below, okay, okay, we're fine. But uh if you can just turn on, that'd be great. But um, if we're like one level level below, okay, but if there's like two levels above us, then that's a problem right there. That's a problem right there. So we're gonna turn it on so we can get back our stuff on par. Even though these guys are okay, these are these guys are okay, but once we face freaking if this can I know we had a good picture but now the sound quality all right let's get this going all right hydro pump please soccer punch excuse me get on out of here sure I like to focus on the Pokemon but the Pokemon itself is floating on midair come on now yo I just realized something very important like Gyarados is Gyarados, right? He's supposed to be the freaking flying water type Pokemon. Sure, he has the flying. He's flying type. Me class pet. Never mind. Super Sonic got that. Uh, hey, we got that. We got the freaking freeze. Not even bad. So sure, Gyarados is the freaking water flying type. So I'm just curious. Sure, it's nice that it's flying and all with its animation and once you're on your land, but. Why not on sea? Same thing with the other water type Pokemon. Sure you're on Sure you see all the water type Pokemon on like midair floating because there's no water around, but once you're actually on the ocean and you're in the encounter, why not just add them on exactly on the sea? I just thought of this right now. I bet hundreds of thousands of people already thought of this before me. But I'm just thinking of it right now. That because like say you saw how Gyarados busted out that hydro pump. It's, you saw how the camera worked. It's just zooming into where his body was at. He, it, the camera just zooms in where the body is at, and then he and then zooms out where he finally blows out the hydro pump. Yeah, hydro pump. Yeah. So, why couldn't he done that? Okay, there is no way that's her facial expression right there. There is no way. That cannot be her facial expression, cause sure the freaking male grunt. Was was me was me looking at us, but her. There's no way she's that sad at her job. Shadow Claw. Excuse me. See, like again, like I want to see Gyarados's facial reaction, but at the same time, you can't see it because it's halfway there. Like how you saw, I don't know if it was the previous episode, or the episode before that, when we used the the thingy. I don't forgot what they're called. It's like after the battle, ever since it was introduced in. Yeah, Brick Break, right? Ever since it was introduced in X and Y, where after the battle you can do something with it, give it the food, pet it. I forgot the name, I don't want to know the name, but I'm just telling you if you know what I'm talking about. You'll see it in there at the bottom screen once you click. Uh, yes, you want to do it with it. Where you just like. Okay, that was close. That was retaliate, god damn it. Bruh, that took out the entire HP. We're gonna get a crit right here. Yeah, switch me out while you're at it, cuz I don't wanna deal with you. And good, we got this Pokemon. And we can't hardly touch this guy unless he attacks first. Because ghost type can attack it, right? They can't touch us with normal moves. I can't recall if we can't touch them with ghost type moves. 
I don't know, we're gonna live, maybe. We're gonna live something. There you go, yeah, it's like that, yeah. But and he has crunch. But it's okay. But it's okay. We're learning. Again. Relearning. Again. Just gonna switch into you. Oh, blah, blah. New move, new choice. Of course, freaking ghost type move doesn't affect normal type Pokemon. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up. Don't backseat gaming. And why did you roar if you could have just crushed the Gengar and then probably the Gengar comes back and bad? Never mind. That's a better choice. But yeah, don't backseat gaming if, if I can't recall something, alright? Uh oh, here we go again. And there was 20 last time, but this time we're okay? Why did it do so much damage to the cannon? Was there a defense or what? Okay, okay. We'll never know. We will never know. Looks like she doesn't get paid well. Okay, there's another trainer up ahead. So let's heal up. I mean, we can just go back to that, to that, to the lady. So that way, we have synthesis on this thing. I think we can go back to that lady. So for right now, this entire episode, we're just gonna be beating one Ether Foundation employee after another because we're gonna be under level, no matter who we're gonna be up against. So I just want to get them prepared. See, that's the face right there I was thinking of. Okay, never mind. Back to being sad at her job. But hey, at least these guys come with two Pokemon. Unlike freaking Team Skull with one. Yo, double intimidate. One lowers the other. No? Okay. Who outspeeds who is the question. Of these tail beasts. We outspeed. Acid spray hits us. We get poison. Lower the special defense. Okay, we're safe. How did you miss? And then... Okay, we're safe again. That's what I was about to say. We missed. Acid spray again. And then we get the poison because we are about to lose another one. Oh! Oh, this other day. This other day. Oh, wait a minute. Uh... Yeah, let's just switch out just in case. Just switch out, just in case. We're dealing with Lorenzis here. Because of the Leaf Blade and Bug Cutter. There's the Leaf Blade. Oh yeah, Pedal Blizzard is also a thing. Okay, so another thing. Freaking, I encountered someone on YouTube, like in the comments. If you don't see that freaking community tab where I posted about it. About that guy. He said, blah, blah, blah. Pokemon is 95% luck based. And I'm just lippy, sassy, just in my head saying, if it's 95% luck, then you got 5%, you got 5% of, 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 of unnecessary decisions to make, when all you gotta do is a simple A tap of making a move, attack, defend, or switch out. How is it 95%? If it's like a 50-50 chance that you never know, your opponent may stay in, may stay out of switching. Which what? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Freaking fucking. Uh, I don't know what you. This one's annoying. Okay, this time I'm actually trying to go for potions now. Okay, never mind. What we get? Okay, that's something else. No, anyone needs to heal right now. But yeah, um, back to what I was saying. Story time, story time, story time. We need it. I think you have Roost. Maybe, I'm not sure. But yeah. This guy, it's, if it's 95%, how is it possible that 95% you have to do this and that within a short sort of amount of time if you were to go on online and battle one turn after another? That's my question. How is it 95% luck? That's way exaggerating right there. It take it is actually skill. I actually see people try to think. They use a minute to think their moves. They don't have to use the entire minute, but still. They use the entire minute just to think or plan out or to stall. So it's not 95% luck the entire time in this game. It's like 
If you're saying it's 95% luck, then you got the other 5% just to make a move. But in a minute. When it's just a simple tap. That's all I'm saying. 5% right here. He just switched it out. 95% luck that he's gonna kill us. Watch. Score. That ain't 95%. That ain't lucky right there. So. His opinion is dumb. That's just dumb fam. We're just gonna wake up to it. Because I don't think this parasite can do any harm to us. Yeah, no harm, no foul. We're okay. And I just like how we're just mean looking sleepy right there. Okay. That freaking slash ain't gonna do a thing to you, you know that, right? Burp wrap, turn three. This guy's learning. This guy's actually learning. If you can wake up, that'd be great! Drill pack. Sure, you can raise the attack, but his defense sucks. Alrighty then. Pseudo Wudo, the rock type? Alright, let's bring you out. Okay, let's see what this Pseudo Wudo can do. Oh, this guy has three Pokemon, yeah. Ether Foundation is stronger than Team Skull. Team Skull is just a freaking backside wash team. I can't do a thing. Like... Okay, I'm gonna say what does block do? It's been a while since I encountered that one. But, uh, let's see. Team Skull is basically the Alola Team Rocket, but... They have no... They have no ulterior motives of world domination at all. They're just a small group with little means necessary of survival. Uh, and what I mean by that is just like, they, sure they took over a town, they declared it as theirs, but literally it's just a sad sack town. Compared to the other teams, they at least have a base where they, want, where they do not want to be known or caught by the police. But the police themselves are just keeping an eye on that freaking town because they have not done anything wrong besides taking it over and declaring that stairs. And you better stay. But you know how we got that Bugdanian Z and all? It would have been cool that if this was the alternate universe and Team Skull was actually something else. And like, freaking Guzmo was actually a trial captain, that would be something else. Because, and now we'll how you'll be saying, oh, we did the freaking bug trial. We did the bug trial and we won. We all the bug trial was just make going through the freaking amazing answer the following questions. That is all. Okay. We spent like 13 minutes just battling. Oh, a rare candy. Thank you. He spent like 13 minutes on one employee after another. But there should be one more around here, I think. I think. Oh yeah, there's the I think. I'm about to say, will he get distracted and all? I think there's a TM move somewhere around here. I think. I had like, I was about to say I had a complaint about how the Ether found Team Skull had only like one Pokemon each, and then we had to deal like one each per battle, and that how I was praising Ether Foundation having more, having more Pokemon than freaking Team Skull, and this guy just comes up with just one Pokemon. That's a crime, and we just learned the attack stats, so that don't even matter. Thrash is normal. So Somewhat half, but we can finish it off. Thrash. Oh yeah, it's like Dragon Rage. That's basically what it is. Goodbye. And it's a good way to scoop up money as well, because we need those for Hyper Potions. Okay, there is an item. 
Okay, special attack plus. Alright. There's someone else? Oh, there's the TM move. Toxic. Waste of time. Hey, I need your money. Let's go. I think... I think for the, what I did on the last one in the Pokemon Sun Wonderlock is that we have three episodes of the freaking Ether Foundation arc. Where we, in the first one we took on Saber and his Brums. The second one we took on Guzma. And the third one was Luzumi, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, hey, an Arcanine! But our Intimidates are, are countering with each other. But uh, the thing about Arcanine. Is that supposed to be like a heavy defensive type? Or like has a strong sense of defense? And why do you want for the next attack? Okay. Alright. I need you to just do me a favor and just chill. One thing about. Okay. Like that didn't even matter. One thing about freaking. Freaking. Z power moves is that at least we can use it every time. But when it comes to the point that it does not officially KO a Pokemon and that we need to use moves, then yeah. Yes, I'm not trying to miss PP when Hydro Pump is only 5 and I'm going to And I'm going to learn Dragon Dance. I need that moveset. Wait, doesn't this thing come with Waterfall as well? I don't remember. There's the dragon dance! What the heck? Ask and you shall receive. There you go. Dragon dance. We learn it. <clears throat> Alright. The weather during your blah blah. Yo, is there a way to shut this thing up? It gives out useless advice. You better heal me, how? No heal? Okay. Screw you. Okay, let's go up. <clears throat> okay, he's having his hand up while... Alright. Just like, just like I thought. <clears throat> what were you doing there? Looks like outsiders can use the main elevator to reach the lower floors. I was afraid this might happen, but still. What a pain. We don't have any choice. We have to go up. Going up? The elevator. I, I, Faber, am the Ether Fountain, Ether Branch Chief. The only one in the world, I'm, I'm irreplaceable. And here you come back uninvited? Like you don't know why. You of all people should know everything that happens in the Ether Foundation. Isn't that right, high and mighty Branch Chief? Heh <laughs> look at you living out in the world. Living out in the world hasn't been kind, has it? But I'm still not telling you anything, and you of all people should understand why, Gladion. Hey Luna, you know why being a trainer is so great? Because when you're battling, it doesn't matter when you're a kid or an adult. Everyone's equal in the Pokemon battle. Aha, uh -huh, is that right? Is that what you think? So you wish to bet on me, Branch Chief Faber? The man who is called Ether Paradise last side of the fence to battle a mere child? As you will. Oh, Randy, man. Time to get. Time for you to get smacked. All right, here we go. Ether Branch Chief Faber. Yes, yeah, and now Hypno. Hey, do we did we switch out yet or no? We didn't. All right, let's go again. See, forty-three. I ain't doing a damn thing wrong. I'm just trying to help my team out. And we gotta switch out later on. Ice Fang! Okay, we should have saved set up, but never mind. Okay, switch you out. Bring you in. Wait a minute, he only has Sucker Punch. What the heck? That's a dark time. Yeah, we should, we should switch it out to a little swing. 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 Okay. What he was trying to do? I don't, I don't remember. Cycle credit, please. Hypnosis, yo, we should have. 
Okay, disable hypnosis. What do you have? Dream Eater? And what? Psychic? Nightmare. Let's try it again. Okay, barely somehow. Okay, we're back to square one again. Okay, back to square one. If it's gonna go for Nightmare, I'd rather have something that's useful right now. Well, you can still use Nightmare even when the Pokemon's not asleep, right? Okay, never mind. Here we go! Shadow Ball! Ganon. Huh? Why did you live? How did we... Okay. We're the fastest thing on the field. We know what it comes with. Hypnosis, Disable, Freaking Nightmare, and Psychic. Get on out. There's no thinking of what to do next right there. We're okay. Well, we did like little damage. Dark Pulse, we need that. Get rid of Sucker Punch. We did... Huh? Okay, I don't understand. And then, I think we have to make a right turn, or he's gonna give us a lie. How can this be? How could this child? Hey, look at you, Luna. And Faber is real strong, too. So, as I said, Faber, you of all people know what I'm here for. Indeed. The world truly hasn't been kind to you, has it? Look how hard it has made you. If you're looking for Cosmog, I suppose it might be downstairs. Downstairs? Oh yeah, Miss Wikis did say there was another level farther down, didn't she? What did you do down there? Experiments to reach a world different from Alola. That's what I've been told, yes. We're in a bit of a hurry, Faber. A lift would be nice. Why not? There's an act of kindness I could do for you thanks to my position as branch chief. Again with the hand. Luna, how? If you're ready, let's head down. Are you ready? Like none of you gotta heal me, so might as well. Let's go. And then there's the smirk. Everything looks the same. I guess it's only been two years now. Wow! It's a, it's like a secret hideout! Don't get too excited, Hal. Though I guess it's better than freezing from fear and nerves. So where do we go now? There are two laps up ahead. I'll check the first lap. You two check the other one. Why do you get the first one? And why do you know all this? Just focus, Hal. Think you can do that? We can't trust Faber. I'm sure he's already told half the Foundation all about us. You didn't even answer my question! I know what it's gotta be! Nerves, eh? I reckon that you're more afraid to be here than either one of us, huh, Gladion? Here, Luna, you take this. Heal me, please! Alright. Lily must be scared right now. Let's buckle down and do this. Alrighty, then. Let's heal up. This ain't gonna be enough for later on, that's for sure. We got all these soda pups. We have synthesis. And you're asleep. I think we did bought like 15, yeah, we did. Yeah, 14. Okay, I think we're gonna take on three guys or four? I don't, I'm not sure. Yep, three guys. And I think it's one of each. I'm not sure. Yes, yeah, facing one of each is dumb. If there's one cutscene after another. But I could just battle three of them at once. Which they could have introduced triple battle in this game, to be honest. But then again, our frame rates in this game suck at during double battle, so. Yeah, back to square one. What was this guy again? Intimidate, please. What was this? 
Um, let's see. Let's get a D dance up. Oh, yeah. Dragon Dance, please. Oh, wait. We're. Dragon Dance only is physical and speed. That's all. Attack and speed. What it is. Oh, well, we have Ice Frame, so we're good. Power Gem. How much you want to bet this guy has Power Gem? Screech. Yeah, right. And I believe if we were to touch this guy, we would get poisoned. That's to its ability, I believe. And that's special. I don't know why we did that. Okay, we're down to one. Please, by all means. Ice Fang! Gunk Shot. Who remembers, I think it was either Gen 5 or Gen 6, is that Gunk Shot was just basically a trash can they did. Or am I just hallucinating? Why did you only alrighty then? Okay, harshly fell, but we still have speed. Bye bye. Yo, we did get the royal PPs. That's that's for sure. Okay, please don't let me battle with the other two. Okay, here comes the other two. Gla Lady on how? Where are you guys? God damn it! And I still believe we're gonna take on the other ones. Need the foundation employee. He has sent out Magneton. Oh, uh, bad matchup. Bad matchup. Bad. No, we don't. Okay, we should be good. All he has to do is just butt out or try attack or squeeze. We lowered the attack. We're safe. But his electric type ain't gonna work with this one. Let's see what happens. Oh my god! Hey, at least we lowered the attack, that's for sure. Metal sound. Special defense, Hush Thief fell. Please, we take us for full. Now we outspeed you. Much shot. I think we get earthquake like somewhere in the, in the fourth island. I believe. I believe, but it's not until like post game. I think. Okay. Another one bites the dust. Round three. Ding ding. Challenged by Ethan Foundation employee. He has sent out Porygon too. Okay, I the only thing I could fear is that he has signal beam and some 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 stat changes moves. That's all I could think of. Okay, we have a problem. We have a problem. Let's try this. Wait a minute, we have the two cannon that has a freaking quick break, break, but the attack was the thing. There's a speed. That would have been nice for our dragon dance. Dark pulse. Discharge. Okay, glad I was safe on that change right there. And we're paralyzed. Great. Cursed body to save the discharge. Okay, you paralyze us? Try to go asleep. Magnet rise. So Magnet Rise, Discharge... What else would you have? Okay, give me three turns. Trying to make plays. We disabled the freaking Discharge. So we should be safe for a couple turns. Plus it's asleep. It has Magnet Rise. I would say Signal Beam, at least, the most. How did you- there's a signal beam, but why did you woke up? Wait, what? Yeah, I feel like this chart's gonna kill. I feel like it's gonna kill. Oh, never mind, we're surviving! 
Good. Eat it up. Get on out. Yeah, 95% luck base right there. Alrighty then. Goodbye. Heal us, please. No? Okay, goodbye. Alright then. He's over there. Wait a minute. If we do get into a battle. Please. Alright, basically this one Okay, but why? How? Why did you just walk into the wall while the two are right to the right? Okay, how? Be useful, please Huntail and Gorbis I knew I should have Tyrell up in front. Here we go! I think they're kind of off in the animation right there. It's cool though they're- Oh wait, why am I gonna ice thing? Just rock slide them both. I'll let the ride shoot handle it. Thank you. See? Everything's all working out according to the plan. Okay, never mind. It did not work out to the plan. That's why you're a pancake, but you're a psychic type. God damn it. Kill it, please. Let Hal do all the work. Thank you. That's all I want. Other dance? Wasn't that special or something? Oh no, I'm dying. That lowers the attack. Alrighty then. Hey, focus people. Where's Lily and Cosmoc? We have may lost, but that doesn't mean we're going to help you. Alrighty then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Come on, Luna, let's split up and look around. Alright, we'll look into more further detail right here, ladies and gentlemen. Like, comment, subscribe, Shrokas XTB, and I'm signing out.